What is Eigenlayer? Restaking. Explained Eigenlayer has garnered significant attention recently, both positive and negative, particularly surrounding its first airdrop. This project aims to revolutionize the blockchain space by enhancing security through a concept called programmable staking. However, amid the hype, there's also been disappointment and confusion, with many investors unsure about the true workings of Eigenlayer. In today's video, we will explore its purpose, how it operates, and the intricacies behind its staking mechanism. We'll also delve into the controversies and criticisms it has faced, especially regarding its initial airdrop. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of Eigenlayer and its potential impact on the cryptocurrency world. But first of all, let's a quick introduction of Eigenlayer. What is Eigenlayer? Eigenlayer is a novel blockchain project that aims to enhance security and functionality across various networks by leveraging the existing Ethereum validator infrastructure. At its core, Eigenlayer enables programmable staking, allowing Ethereum validators to secure not just the Ethereum network, but also other blockchains and decentralized services. This approach utilizes the validators' already established reliable infrastructure and significant financial stakes to provide security to multiple platforms simultaneously. In comparison to traditional Ethereum staking, where validators lock up 32 ETH to maintain the integrity of the Ethereum blockchain, Eigenlayer extends this concept by enabling these validators to stake their assets across multiple networks. This additional layer of staking, or restaking, enhances the security of smaller networks that might not have the same level of financial and computational resources as Ethereum. By distributing the security responsibilities of Ethereum validators to other networks, Eigenlayer aims to create a more interconnected and robust ecosystem, benefiting from the reliability and trustworthiness of the Ethereum staking model. How does Ethereum staking work? Ethereum staking operates on a proof-of-stake, POS consensus mechanism, which involves validators, individuals or entities who lock up 32 ETA to participate in the network security. Unlike proof-of-work, the POW, which relies on energy-intensive mining, POS requires validators to have a financial stake in the system. Validators play a crucial role in maintaining the blockchain's integrity by proposing and validating new blocks. Their performance hinges on having reliable computers and stable internet connections, as network uptime is essential for timely and accurate block validation. The funds locked by validators act as collateral, ensuring their commitment to honest behavior. If a validator acts maliciously or fails to maintain network standards, a portion of their staked ETH can be slashed, taken away as a penalty. This slashing mechanism serves as a deterrent against misbehavior, ensuring that validators have a strong financial incentive to act in the network's best interest. Overall, Ethereum staking combines financial security and computational reliability to uphold the blockchain's robustness. The concept of Eigenlayer. Eigenlayer introduces an innovative concept by leveraging existing Ethereum validators to provide additional security to other blockchain networks and decentralized services. This approach utilizes the infrastructure and financial stakes that Ethereum validators already maintain, enabling them to secure multiple networks simultaneously. The core idea is to extend the security capabilities of these validators beyond just Ethereum, offering their services to other platforms that may lack the same level of security resources. A key feature of Eigenlayer is programmable staking, often misunderstood as restaking. While restaking implies simply reusing staked assets, Programmable staking involves a more sophisticated approach where validators can programmatically allocate their staking power to various networks and services. This enables a flexible and dynamic security model where the validator's resources can be efficiently distributed based on real-time needs and demands. By employing this method, Eigenlayer aims to create a more resilient and interconnected ecosystem, leveraging the robust security foundation of Ethereum to bolster the integrity of smaller and emerging networks. Now let's talk about how Eigenlayer operates. Eigenlayer operates through a network of operators who are essentially validators with reliable infrastructure and substantial financial stakes. These operators are responsible for securing not only the Ethereum network, but also additional blockchains and decentralized services. By utilizing these existing validators, Eigenlayer enhances the security of smaller networks that might otherwise be vulnerable to attacks due to limited resources. Central to Eigenlayer's operation are actively validated services, ABSs. ABSs are various blockchain services and networks that validators can choose to secure. When operators allocate their resources to these ABSs, they provide essential security and validation services, ensuring the reliability and integrity of these platforms. 
This process creates a versatile and scalable security model where multiple services can benefit from the high security standards of Ethereum validators. Income production for validators in Eigenlayer comes from fees paid by the AVSs. These fees compensate validators for their security services, creating an incentive for them to participate in the network. By staking their assets and validating multiple services, validators earn rewards, thus making Eigenlayer a potentially lucrative platform for those involved in its ecosystem. This model not only bolsters security across various networks, but also provides economic benefits to validators. Despite its innovative approach, Eigenlayer faces several challenges and criticisms. Challenges and criticisms. One of the primary issues is the limited number of actively validated services, AVSs, currently available. With only a handful of AVSs in operation, the platform's ability to distribute and balance security across multiple networks is somewhat constrained, potentially limiting its overall effectiveness and attractiveness to potential users and validators. Additionally, the high costs associated with creating and using AVSs present a significant barrier. Developing and maintaining these services requires substantial financial and technical resources, which can deter smaller projects from leveraging Eigenlayer security offerings. This costliness could slow the adoption rate and reduce the diversity of services that the network can support, ultimately hindering its growth and scalability. Moreover, the complexity and lack of clarity in Eigenlayer's project documentation have been a notable concern. The technical jargon and intricate details make it difficult for potential users and investors to fully understand the platform's functionalities and benefits. This opacity can lead to misunderstandings and mistrust, especially among those less familiar with blockchain technology, posing a significant hurdle to broader adoption and engagement. Drama surrounding the first airdrop. The first airdrop of Eigenlayer has been marred by several controversies and issues. Initially, Users engaged in points staking with high expectations, speculating that significant returns would follow due to the large sums of funds locked up in Eigenlayer's publicity. However, the reality did not meet these expectations. Geographic restrictions significantly impacted the airdrop's reception, as users from certain countries found themselves unable to claim their tokens. This limitation was strictly enforced, even blocking VPN usage, which many other projects typically allow to bypass regional restrictions. Additionally, only a small portion of the total tokens, 15%, was allocated for the airdrop, which has raised concerns among the community. Many are worried that early investors and contributors received a disproportionate share, with 29.5% allocated to early investors and 25.5% to early contributors. This distribution has led to fears that the airdrop could be overshadowed by early funding rounds, potentially sidelining the broader community's interests and undermining trust in the project. The Eigen Token and Social Consensus. Slashing the Eigen Token introduces a novel approach to handling slashing through its social consensus model designed to address off chain verifiable bad actions. Unlike traditional slashing mechanisms, which rely on on chain data, Eigen's model targets actions that, while not directly visible on the blockchain, can still impact the system's integrity, such as providing inaccurate data via oracles. To manage this, Eigen employs a forking mechanism. If a validator engages in such bad behavior, the network can fork the token to distinguish between legitimate and compromised versions. This approach ensures that only the valid token version is recognized, maintaining the network's integrity. The Eigen token operates on a two token model. The staked Eigen tokens, which are subject to the forking mechanism, are separated from the tokens used in non staking scenarios like decentralized finance, DeFi. This separation allows users to interact with DeFi applications without needing to worry about token forks, simplifying the user experience while ensuring that staking-related issues are managed effectively. In short, Eigenlayer presents a unique approach by leveraging Ethereum validators to provide security across multiple networks through a concept known as programmable staking. This model extends beyond Ethereum, enabling validators to secure other blockchains and decentralized services, thus creating a more interconnected and resilient ecosystem. Looking ahead, Eigenlayer's success will depend on its ability to address these challenges, expand its service offerings, and enhance communication with its community. If it can overcome these hurdles, it has the potential to significantly impact the blockchain space and foster broader adoption. That's all for this video. We hope you have enjoyed this video a lot. If you have any questions regarding Eigenlayer, let us know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for more interesting videos like this. Thank you for